Hey, hey, you guys! Me and Max are gonna get our do our brushing today, and um, I just want to say, hey, thanks a lot for some of the re reviews, uh, some of the comments I'm seeing. There was a, a couple ladies that were really mean. Um, one said something like, "Your military background may, maybe doesn't allow you to love." I really, really wanted to share that with the world. Um, <laughs> And then some of the comments I'm getting from you guys are just really positive and I really appreciate your time and you watching my videos. Um, subscribe to my channel, it means a lot to me. Uh, the What you write, I try to respond. I don't respond right away usually, but um, so busy, you know. Who knew I was gonna be a groomer and a videographer? <laughs> uh, which I need, um, I need help with that, so. It's not easy. Uh, grooming isn't easy. And if you're watching, then you um, are either new or you've been watching a lot of my videos. And so there's good days and bad days. There's good dogs and bad dogs. But today we're, we're working on Max again. I'm going to just uh, record him because I kind of wanted to talk to you guys anyway and just kind of say those things. He comes in every two weeks and he has so much hair. Um... But I've gotten to the point, the owner does a great job. Matter of fact, she, last time she watched the video of him, she came in and bought the bigger brush. She has brushes, but the bigger your brush, the more area you cover. So it's less brush time. And I like that. So a smaller, I would not use a small brush on him. It would take me a long time. So my brush is a basic Miracle Coat brush. I sell them for 15 bucks. They are... Great. Uh, it's the only brush I like. The only black. It's the black brush that I use all the time. It's awesome. Um, it has angles like this, and I'll show you in the video once I c keep going. But if you are brushing regularly at home, which they do, that helps. And then when he, I, I was like, dude, we. There was a time I remember I said, look, it is so hard on him when we have to do brushing every couple months, like for an hour. Just like all this brushing is so. He's not complaining, but I know it's a lot of work and it's it's definitely not painful, but ir you know, irritable, irritable to the skin. Like it's a lot of brushing to do like a month of brushing in one hour. That's just too much. So she does a come every two weeks now and we leave it long. Mom wants to leave it long. This is his breed. And there are some people that are like too much hair. On his last video, they said something like too much hair. I would never let my dog have that much hair or something like that, but I mean, everyone's got a choice. And uh, until he can't stand the brushing, um, it's just the parent's choice. That's his life. He's loved, he's happy. So quit judging. Um, I, I want to say just stop. People need to just learn to stop judging. I mean, look at something, watch it, think what you're going to think, but I mean, you have your life and no one's like dictating your life. You're not on YouTube. So. <laughs> Um, just watch, and if you don't like to watch something, move on. Click on the next video. Click on a different channel. Go somewhere else. Um, there's too much negativity in the world. You know what I mean? Oh, people. So, we're going to groom Max. And how can you not be happy with this little guy? Look at him. He's just adorable. Hi, come here. Look at you. Look at his face. Look at your face. Yes, I know. Just kiss it. Oh, my gosh. So a little bit of me is military. So when it comes to work, there's energy, there's silence. I don't like to chit chat. I don't talk a lot of crap. I don't sit around and chit chat. I don't talk crap. Like I don't do that. I'm a very just different person. Um, I don't like drama <laughs> and I don't bring drama like in my group, this groom world, right? So it's just me and the dog and we're getting the work done. And why can't it be like that? Why do people have to Gosh, am I venting or what today? Why do people have to talk on the phone, talk about crap, talk about each other, talk about them, him, her, who, all this stuff, when if we could just do this and just be direct and firm, I think you'd get along through life a lot better. It's like that commercial where uh, it, it, they, it's a taxi or what, or no, it's a, um, shoot, what commercial is that? And the guy is like, I um, guess I probably won't hear from you again, right? It's like a, they get out of the taxi or something, and she goes, yeah, I will act like I'm going to call you, but I'm not going to. And so it's, it's just do, you know, just do what you need to do. And no fluffer, no lying, no drama, and just get the job done, right? And that's kind of how I work. Um, when I've hired people, I'm like, look, I don't talk while I work. I don't sit around talking. I'm not sitting here playing on my cell phone. I'm doing work, I'm working on your pet, I'm working on these people's pets. 
and I want them to know when they leave that's how I handle it. The phone's ringing, it has to wait, right? It's important to work on the dog. The energy here is me and this dog, right? Okay, enough of all that. Here we go. So we're gonna do brushing. I'm gonna try to knock this out and um, it'll be 30 minutes so I probably won't video the whole thing. You guys kind of probably have seen the last video on this but I am at five minutes. I was talking for five minutes. Or maybe I'll tell, uh, no, I'm not gonna tell you about the face mask, but I'm wearing the face mask because over the years I've taken some safety classes for grooming. And when you wear, when, if you don't protect yourself as a groomer, I promise you, you are going to feel damage later. And I can tell you that because what I have done is, uh, I didn't wear a face mask for the first like uh, seven or eight, maybe nine, eight, like seven or eight years of grooming. And um, I didn't wear, okay, I went to Super Zoo in uh, Vegas. If you're a groomer, then you should definitely go to Super Zoo. I was going to Super Zoo and taking classes for the for, for three years. I, didn't, I missed a year. I went two years, missed a year, and I went a year, and I missed a year. So not every single year, but pretty close. I've been trying to go every year. I think I've missed the last two because they've changed the dates. And then they went, they used to have them for five days or something, and then it went down to like two days during the week. And I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, how are we going to make that? So... If you're a groomer and you went to one of those classes, one of them was how to take care of yourself as a groomer while you're grooming. And not that they had like face masks, but they did have, um, they, uh, they, it's not that they had face masks, but they did go through like, it is, you are, where do you think the hair is going? You cut all the hair and all, every tiny little hair that's flying in the air, you're walking around it and you're breathing it in. So if you're breathing that hair in, where do you think it's going? I mean, it's not exiting anywhere. So, I've never had allergies, and here in Texas, I've been here since 2003. I started my grooming business in 2005, and I have allergies now. And I, I can't say 100% is Texas, or just what I'm doing as, as I'm working with the dogs, because it's very hairy, there's a lot of hair everywhere. Your blow, when you blow dry them, there is still some fiber dirt in there, I'm sure, in the coat. And you're blow drying it right into your face. And if you're a groomer, you know what I'm talking about. If you work at PetSmart or Petco, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Because when you're blow drying the dogs, you are not using a face mask. And it is directly hitting your face, your eyeballs. And we just were doing it. I don't even know what it feels like to do it without protection anymore. Because I was like, look, I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to be wearing a face mask. And I don't, it, it may not be like some of them, like the... They should make them different. I really want to create one that's made a little different where there is some ventilation, you know, more ventilation. I'm just basically getting air. It's protecting what I'm breathing, but I'm getting air through the outside here and down below, right? But I can tell you I'm breathing in a lot less hair than I am now than I was before. So wear your face masks to not breathe in the hair if you, if you don't want allergies. And later in life, which I've been using the face masks for a few years now, four, three or four years, and... I'm just trying to prevent what's going to happen anyway, like make it um, not so hard on my system. So, and I'm constantly analyzing myself and constantly watching how I work, constantly. Like I've moved my table now back because I'm watching all these videos I'm doing and I'm like, dude, I hate my back to the dog for like t five, six seconds. I don't like that. Like anything could happen. So I'm, you know, constantly analyzing my own work. And um, so the face mask while you groom a dog, while you blow, definitely while you blow dry. Where do you think all that hair, that stuff is going when you blow dry the dog and it's wet, you know? Um, when you're brushing, there's particles flying everywhere. If you don't think there are, wear a black shirt and you will see. It's particles flying everywhere. Then the other thing is I, I started wearing goggle, like a goggles or glasses while, and I'll do a picture maybe or something. Goggles or glasses while you blow dry the dog. It's not going to be perfect, but it is perfect. I've noticed more sleep in my eyes coming out of my eyeballs as a groomer. Like every day I've got sleep, big sleep too. It's like kind of gross. And I'm like, this is like allergies, something in my system, like the hair constantly hitting my eyeballs while I'm grooming and stuff. I should wear like glass, like protective eye gear grooming, but it's just, I can't. It's just so much, too, too much stuff to do. But while you're blow drying a dog, I have for the last, you know, three, four years wearing uh, eye protection as well. So I'm constantly now really paying attention to what it's doing and being aware of how you use your clippers. Uh, I already have carpal tunnel, 
but it will make it worse on certain days that my hands are numb. So different things to make your life better as a groomer. Pay attention. If you, I would love to sell you some face masks, but I only have a couple left. Um, I've gotten mine from Taiwan. They make the best face masks. You guys are probably not going to find them. They're not online. But there are some face masks that are thinner, that are more for the medical industry. But I mean, at least you're using something. And they, those ones, I have a few in my store that I've ordered. Like, I like pink and butterfly stuff. So they're on my store floor to sell. But you can get those on Etsy.com and search, like, face mask. Uh, they're 10 to 12 bucks. I definitely recommend it. And... Um, okay, I'm going to just stop this video. This is a, a safety video. <laughs> we'll come back to Max uh, later. Thank you for watching. Bye.